Hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to walk do a walkthrough tutorial of how to use Bing Chat to create a title for our YouTube video and also see if it can help us generate a thumbnail that would be cool and catchy to use to post our video. In the spirit of trying to keep this short and concise, um, we have went ahead and created some uh, chat windows in our browser and also we've copied or typed in some text that we're going to start with so you don't have to sit here and wait for us to type. Um, so let's get started. First we're going to go with the title. Uh, this is kind of what we want to start with and I'm going to modify it just a touch because I don't want it to be about still and I know this is because the way I've got it right now a lot of it comes out and it makes it about um, still. So we want to be clear here, and the more details you can provide it, the better chances that you're going to get the response that you're looking for. And also note in this one, we've chose more creative because we're trying to come up with creative uh, ideas on catchy titles and things like that. Not clickbait. I uh, just want to be clear on that. And uh, creative is something I would use there. More, uh, more precise I would use if I was looking for details on how to fix my saw or things like that where I want it to be accurate and not really have the AI use its quote unquote imagination. All right, so one thing, so it gave us some things. I don't really care for any of those, so we'll let it know why and what, more what we're looking for. So we'll say thank you. So we're going to give you a little bit more details and try to guide it a little bit more what we're looking for here. Okay, so this is a little bit better. I think the critical maintenance tip you need to know before your chainsaw fails um, in 17 hours, um, we'll take that one. I think it's, I, I would really word it a little bit and you can let it know and ask for options or most of the time, I don't get exactly what I'm looking for. Sometimes I really do. Um, but a lot of times I get something like this, and then it, it jogs my creative juices to where I'm like, oh, okay, this is really cool, but I, as long as it says this. Or you can keep feeding it in there. But we're going to stop right here um, and just move with this. Uh, another cool thing about this, for some of you or most of you, uh, you may be coming to these videos or, or searching YouTube because you want to create your own channel or you're looking for ideas to be unique um, because right now YouTube is a lot of, it, it's saturated with all these things about clickbait and, and just over exaggerations cut. Right now, uh, YouTube is just cluttered with just clickbait and, and just over demonstrative titles and, and things like that. And it's just so much garbage to, to sort through. Um, but maybe you want to come up with like a unique way that's not clickbait, but also is unique for you. For say, example, you want to come up with a chainsaw repair idea to, uh, with a Shakespearean theme. And you could, you, you wanted to start using catch -all catchy titles that would be like part of a Shakespearean book or play and then um, as well as descriptions and it may be fun and it may be something that gets your message across but it's got a little bit of entertainment to it but it's not overdoing it so the cool thing about AI is you can go down here and get it to help you with that um, so we're going to tell it what we like Okay, so it gave me some stuff right there. Um, not really what I want to do uh, because it's it, I didn't save it. <laughs> Actually, it failed, and it's costing a lot of money. So the the goal here is to get this out and help other people not have go through the same thing that I did with the seventeen hours on a saw. And so we're going to try to correct it right here. Uh, one thing about AI, it does get a little annoying because if you say something like this, it, oh, I'm sorry, dude, it's like it feels a little fake and it overdoes it. And but I mean, I 
I get it. I, I just wish I could, there's some way I could program it or, or instruct it to not do that on every time, every conversation. So there's give you some examples. Um, if you go back to here, this is kind of what we came out with. Um, and, uh, that it, and that's what we went with. Uh, now, um, also in, to speed this up, we, now that we want to create a, a thumbnail, so we start a new conversation and what we did here is, uh, this was the conversation that we had previously and we went through and the reason I saved this is because it, it had some, and this is actually one of the uh, titles I think I'm going to go with here, Chainsaw's Tale. Um, th that's kind of catchy and it'd be kind of funny. So. Here's where we started with our image. We use the same conversation. Sometimes you may not want to start this, use the same conversation for different things because technically this is, we're wanting a thumbnail. Um, I used it to start with because it had details about what the thumbnail was going to be about and the history of it. And sometimes that helps. Sometimes it doesn't help. Sometimes it, it causes the AI to focus on their own types of words and it, you don't get what you need. So if that's the case, again, you may need to start a new topic and then just start from scratch with what you're looking for. So we want a, a thumbnail for our video, and this is what it initially gave us. We didn't really care for anything on that. Maybe this one, we let it know that that's a good start, um, but we wanted more C CGI-like animated cartoonish thing, make sure the image clearly shows it's saving you money. And then, so this is kind of the other things that it came up with. Um, Uh, which is it kind of interesting here. Um, these look kind of cool. Uh, I don't know that one right there. Uh, that one's kind of interesting. I might like that one if it had a... And actually, I'm probably going to use one of these right here. Um, but say whatever, whichever one you want to use. Uh... We'll say that one. We will click on that and we will do, do a download and save as. And we're going to say YouTube thumbnail number two. So we save that and we're going to go back to our video in YouTube here and we're going to change the image to this. Um, I don't know that that's the greatest one, but it just gives you an idea, right? It saves you from having to spend a lot of time searching or having to go out and hire somebody or, you know, waste a lot of time there, waste a lot of money because these videos are kind of meant to be helpful and share, uh, lessons, life lessons in particular that we learn and we're trying to help others and prevent them from having the same problems and expenses that we have. And then hopefully they did the same for us and we all learn going forward and, and we're able to do more um, with less. Hope this helped. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, please, again, in a, please leave some comments on how you're using it. If you got some better ways to come up with titles and thumbnails, please share it below because I'm learning myself as well. And I'm sure there's tons of people out there that have very good messages or content that they that we would all benefit from, but maybe they're just not tech savvy or have the ability to create thumbnails or they don't have time. And anything that we can create where we can help others get information to help us learn and grow as a society um, greatly benefits us all. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.